Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips to help you save some extra cash because who doesn't want to save some extra dollars, right? In the title, I mentioned that this video is for women, but of course, um, any of you can benefit from these tips. Number one, keep your skincare routine simple. So I did some research on skincare and basically I found that most dermatologists agree that expensive skincare products aren't necessarily better than less expensive skincare products. And in fact, most dermatologists recommend um, products that are actually not that expensive. I also found out that most over-the-counter anti-aging products like this retinol, for instance, like they don't actually provide any significant benefits. Um, and this is because they don't have like active ingredients at a high enough concentration to actually provide that anti-aging benefit that we're looking for. So yeah, you're probably spending, you know, $30 on this and it's probably doing nothing. I've personally narrowed down my skincare routine to just three products. I use the Cetaphil, um, skin cleanser. I use the version from Dollar Tree though. I literally got this for like a dollar twenty-five, and it works just as good as a set of fill. I'm wearing makeup right now, but I have pretty nice skin, y'all. And this is all I use, and I have um, normal to oily skin. And then I use this moisturizer from CeraVe. Um, it has SPF in it, so I don't I don't have to buy like a separate um, sunscreen. I usually also get the generic version. Then I use the PM moisturizer you know i'm not here to condemn anyone's skincare routine what do i know right but i would encourage you guys to be open to exploring a skincare routine with less products not only will it be less expensive but it might actually be better for your skin overall get your hair accessories at dollar tree have you guys noticed how expensive hair brushes are i think the cheapest ones I can find at like Target and Walmart are at a minimum like $5. At Dollar Tree, you can get a hairbrush like this for just a little over a dollar. I've had this hairbrush for the longest time. It's durable. Um, you can get um, hair ties for really cheap, cute hair clips. You can get nice headbands, bobby pins. You know, the possibilities are endless. I'm just kidding. Find ways to save on beauty services. You need to make a list of the beauty services that are non-negotiables for you. For instance, for me, I like having my nails done, I like getting eyelash extensions, and I like getting my hair done. I don't have my eyelash extensions done right now or my nails, but I like getting them done, okay? I used to pay like, I don't know, maybe close to $130 for my eyelash extensions. Yeah, I paid that much. But um, over time, it just wasn't sustainable, but I still wanted that look right i ended up finding a girl who does them um, for like a little over a quarter of the price that i was paying before you're probably thinking oh the, the lashes look terrible no she does them amazing and she probably even does them better than my previous lash technician so my point is look at the things you like to get done and take the time to find places who can do them at a lower price so you don't have to you know give up these services you always check amazon I might be a little late to this, but you guys, Amazon has some really good deals. <laughs> Recently, I've been buying all of my toiletries and just random products that I need from there. I used to pay like seven to eight bucks for this at Target. This I like the spray deodorant from Dove. And now I can get six of these um, for like 23 bucks on Amazon, which is uh, less than $4 each. I was also able to get um, 24 sponges, not some like super high quality sponges, but 24 sponges nevertheless for like $7. Like where else are you gonna get that deal? Dry shampoo is cheaper on Amazon because damn, <laughs> dry shampoo is so freaking expensive. Uh, pads are cheaper on Amazon, tampons, uh, toilet paper. Stop buying trendy clothing. Now, trendy clothing has its place from time to time. You know, sometimes there's like really cute trends that you just have to hop on, okay? but for the most part, investing your money in trendy clothing is just not worth it. I think it's so much wiser to just spend your money on basic pieces of clothing, like timeless clothing items, um, clothing that has like neutral colors, and clothing items that you can re-wear with different outfits. Stop buying new outfits every time plans are made. Now I'm very guilty of this, okay? I know how exciting it is to wear like a new cool outfit when you go out with your friends or maybe on a date, 
but it's just not sustainable, not worth the money. I mean, think about all the ways you could use that money. In an odd way, I think it's kind of cool to not buy new outfits every time you go out because it forces you to be creative with the pieces of clothing that you have. Take it as a challenge, okay? That's one way to see it. I just think it's important to have some rules. Uh, maybe you're only gonna buy a new outfit when it's a very special occasion. Have the confidence to negotiate and ask questions. Now this is really important when it comes to getting services done like at the mechanic or um, when you're making a big purchase like a car. In an ideal world you should be able to trust the people who do services for you because they're like the experts or whatever but a lot of times they will take advantage of women. Ask questions like why are you charging me all of this? Does my car actually need all of these things you know? If there's any opportunity for you to get something at a lower price, try to negotiate even at a furniture store. Just think about men like they always have so much confidence to ask questions you know they always have the audacity so don't be afraid to have the audacity if that makes sense um or even when it comes to like your job if you have the opportunity to ask for a raise ask for it don't be afraid to discomfort your boss like stop paying the cost of people pleasing so as a former people pleaser i can tell you it comes with a lot of financial difficulties that i think just aren't talked about enough. Like when you're a people pleaser, you're more likely to let people borrow money even though you don't want to. You're more likely to accept invitations to go places and spend money even though you really like didn't want to go to that place. Don't spend your money and most importantly your time on expensive activities and on people that you don't want to spend money on just for the sake of pleasing them. Uh, stop guilt tipping. So recently I've restricted my tipping to only when I go inside and like I sit at a restaurant, at a table, I'm serviced by a server. I, and for a while I was tipping when I would go to Starbucks and at random places where like I was just taking my food to go. And I wasn't doing it because I wanted to, I was doing it out of like this pressure and guilt because like the options there, I'm afraid I'm gonna be judged. And I'm just here to remind you like, if you don't want a tip for your takeout food, it's okay, save those extra dollars. You're also, when you are eating inside of a restaurant, tip what is adequate, okay? I think, you know, I don't wanna stereotype, but a lot of us women tend to be really kind and sometimes we will tip a really large amount for a terrible service and we'll do it just out of like, this need to be nice. No, like if you don't wanna tip a lot cause your waiter was so freaking rude, don't. You practice the 24 hour rule. How many of you struggle with impulse buying? <laughs> a lot of you do, I'm sure. Um, it's, you know, it's something that we do sometimes out of boredom or because something just seems really cute, but it's not a need, it's just kind of a want. I challenge you to wait at least 24 hours before you buy anything that is just a want, okay? Um, fill up your car all you want, but don't make the official purchase until the following day. Those 24 hours will give you enough time to realize that all those things that you put in your car, you don't actually want. Borrow things from friends. So I'm so blessed with the people I have in my life, in particular my best friend, Carla. Shout out to Carla. Um, she always comes through and lets me borrow any top she has, um, especially like if we're gonna go out and I hate all the clothes that I have. I think more of us need to ask our friends if we can borrow their things. Maybe it's a necklace for like a certain occasion. Watch for lifestyle creep. So a lot of us in our 20s in particular, we're like transitioning out of like our minimum wage jobs. We're finally getting like decent salaries, our big girl jobs, and we tend to upgrade our lifestyle, which for most of us, that is a goal and it's great. But sometimes we upgrade it a little too much and it's like a little too costly. Um, ask yourself if there's things that maybe you're spending your money on that you actually don't really care about too much and you're just like spending the money because you can. Like maybe in the past, you just bought Starbucks twice a week, but now you're doing it seven days out of the week. Is it really bringing you that much more satisfaction or shop on Poshmark for designer items and new 
fashion. You can basically find almost anything on here, okay? You can find the Converse that you want, maybe some shoes that like just came out. They're probably already on Poshmark. So if you're on a budget like me, but you still wanna wear like Doc Martens, you wanna wear like cute things that are kind of expensive um, and you don't mind them being like used previously, get them on Poshmark. I also really like Poshmark's policy. Basically, like if the item arrives and you're not satisfied with it, you don't have to accept it and you will get your money back. Use the trade. So I previously, I wasn't a huge fan of the train. I just kind of drove my car everywhere until I realized how amazing public transportation is. Um, yeah, I'm a little late to this, but seriously, if you have like a long distance bestie, like take the train to go see them. Not only will you save money on gas, but you also gain your time back. You can like do homework while you're on the train, do some emails. Only buy makeup you actually use. In like 2016, 2015, it was like kind of cool to have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and like lip glosses, lipsticks, and a bunch of stuff. I think now um, we've all come to the realization that it's just not worth all the money. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got something beneficial out of this video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and also let me know like some ways that you save money. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.